Great, welcome back to your fitness family. Yes, a day in the life of a family living on an island. Yes, so today we're going for some wood. Yes, 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 it is December and you know the weather is cold. Just carrying you through for you to see what's happening in the island, not only in summertime when you see all the tourist, beautiful places to see in Greece and all of that. No, I want to show you how quiet the winter can be and how cold also. So we're going for wood collection. Uh, so it's of wood that we think flooded from the mountains now we have the mountains where you have the snows and all of that flowing through the valley the water down to the beach and sometimes they bring trees and fall you know along and just float with the water and sometimes when the water goes down and the tide goes down it can uh, stop somewhere so yes we found one good wood that's going to uh, just just a piece like not too big not too small but it's going to do okay for the fireplace and you need that okay grilling you know when you want to eat like the castan those fruits they put by the fire you grill them and eat them fish meat you know put in the oven and the fireplace you know it is when you cook with woods I, well if you're an african maybe you have a clue or if you're if you've ever used wood in cooking you can tell the difference between wood that is cooked with a uh, food that is cooked with wood and food that is cooked with a gas a electric cooker and whatever anyway there's no comparison okay <laughs> be as close to nature as you can all right so today is a beautiful day compared to yesterday the previous day when we went to the avocado farm feeding the avocado trees i hope you've caught up with that uh video if you've not watched it go catch up with that one so this is our road that we're driving from the we're going off road now we're driving towards the mountains now greece is a mountainous country so a lot of mountains whatnot so we're going off road right now on with our atv bike and then we have the carrier behind us there where we're going to put the wood where we have the chainsaws and all of that so yes now we're driving down from the off road down to the river okay where we're going to be doing our job so yes now we're back i'm here just looking around to see where the woods are and what kind of wood are we working with and whatnot but yes the sun is directly on my eyes now the beautiful thing about greece is that is that even in december you're still having sunny days where the sun is hot like today with this sun you see is pretty much warm enough for you to wear just a lighter jacket not just not your winter jacket that's too heavy but well me i love to dress the part because sometimes you're going to wear that can change and then if you're not prepared with an extra jacket you could get cold so i just prefer carrying a heavier jacket but you would see that i have to take off my jacket when we start walking because got a bit too hot and uh whatnot okay so that being said we are getting ready you know to go down you see that's our atv bike we have gasoline for the chainsaw we brought two chainsaws uh, i think steel and the husbana if i'm not mistaken uh so that's what we are going to be working with we will start cutting yes that is the wood we came to collect you can see the water is down uh right now so that wood is just stuck there because you don't see any other tree any other thing around here so i guess when the water was high it actually rolled and got here and got stuck when the water went all the way down but anyways um so that's the piece of wood we're going to cut well the camera is not doing justice to this wood it's a bit big uh so we're going to use the bigger chainsaw to cut it and then we're going to use the smaller one to just complete the job because you can see the area is full of stones you have to be very careful with that this is me showing you the water you can see here the water is flowing pretty slow you can see uh the water is down and everything is kind of calm and quiet but beautiful 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 and uh, it's this is clean water and this is fresh water because it's coming all the way from the mountains you see me pointing the direction i'm pointing out that's where the mountains are that's omelos area and you have snows and all of that you also have cabins you can rent if you are around this area if you're like around the hanya access you know you can actually go up to omalos you want to be on the snows and all of that so you can go there rent a cabin there are restaurants and there are 
a little bit you can have a walk and just have your day and do your thing over there if you want to be close to the snow or if you want to be closer to the beach then you don't get to see the snow but you can see the mountain tops all white from down the beach areas so anyway so here we've started with our walk and yeah we're going to just court and that is what we're going to do right about now <laughs> Okay, so right here we had to give some gas you know some fuel because we ran out of fuel with the small machine so with the small chainsaw I said small machine so yes that's the steel okay yeah and here on the floor I think this is the Hasbana I think if I'm not correct I'll put the correct name on the screen I think this is Hasbana's G660 uh that we brought and we actually have a bigger one the husvana 80 i think 88 88 also anyways so we came with two different uh brand and the two different sizes. you can see the one on the floor is bigger the blade is different from the, it's like it's a different blade you know so you, know, you buy the body and then you buy the blade separately so yes that's why you see the blade you can like what are you saying did you just say Osvana? but that said special sensei whatever what what does that even say suggest fancy or something <laughs> anyway let me not bite my tongue with these weird names that they give to their uh machines and things like that anyway that being said we already done with the cutting of the log and now we are just trying to finish up because the area had a lot of stones so we had to be very careful with the big chainsaw hence we uh have to finish up the cutting with the steel which is smaller and it, it is easier to you know maneuver and so that's what you will see us do right here after we're done we will now use that heavy metal uh, rod to separate the woods and then lift them up the embankment and try to load them on so anyways you can see this is the river this is the view where we are and um, it is a beautiful and sunny day even though it is December it is beautiful and sunny day and uh, we're just trying to quickly finish up with this wood because trust me this is going to serve and mostly when you want to go to bed at night these type of woods work very well you can split them into depending on the size of your fireplace also okay you can split it into two and you're able to put it straight into the fireplace but if your fireplace is smaller because these are big lo uh, logs <coughs> are huge logs you can now split them into four and you know have those pieces in that will also last but we what we do we have a bigger size so we split mostly in two uh, sometimes and some we just leave if the log is not as big as this we leave it as it is as and we just put one as you go to bed you put one and that is going to last you for many hours as you sleep so maybe if you wake up in the night uh you know maybe you go into the bathroom or something then you can check the fireplace and if it needs another one you just put it but sometimes if it's very big you put it in the night and it's able to stay till 5 6 a.m that you're waking up and you have that one big wood that maybe you put in the fire around maybe 12 midnight and it stays burning till 6 a.m yeah some of the woods are that good so that's why when you see big woods like this don't miss them okay <laughs> anyway that being said it is a wonderful day okay so here we had a horse i was i will see if i can insert photos maybe on the thumbnail yeah i was able to get on the horse the horse was this one was a bit stubborn <laughs> 
so i was i was hesitant i didn't want to but like come on you can do it you can do it and yes i got some photos so if i can i will insert some photos if i can then maybe i will post that in the community post so look out for those photos uh or on the thumbnail i don't know but anyway that being said back to what we're doing right here you can see like i told you earlier in the video that it is a warm day so you can see that i actually took off my jacket and i'm walking without my jacket and i don't feel so cold because the sun is hot enough because sometimes the sun will be out but the sun will not be hot and warm enough you know to keep warm. but yes on this day the sun is hot enough that i had to take off my jacket all right so at this point we were done and i was just trying to explain one or two things to you guys about well, sounds and voices around i had to now do this voice over actually because i was talking throughout the video but i had to do a voice over anyway thank you so very much for watching and see you on the next clip don't forget to subscribe okay like and share